This instructional video will go over how to manage your urostomy at home after you leave the hospital. Typically, you would need to change your entire ostomy pouching system every three to five days or twice a week. You would need to empty the pouch throughout the day. Changing your ostomy pouch may seem intimidating at first, but you will have a specialized nurse called an ostomy nurse, or WOCN, that would teach you how to change and empty your pouch. Let's see how to change your pouch. If you have a belt, please remove the belt. Then gather your supplies. You will need a washcloth, pen, scissors, pouching system, and a stoma measuring guide. Next, remove the old pouching system working from the top to the bottom. As needed, use an adhesive remover wipe to assist with pouch removal. Once the pouch is removed, throw the pouch into the wastebasket. Next, clean the skin with a soft cloth and water. Do not use soap and water since a lot of soaps have moisturizers as an ingredient and may prevent the ostomy pouch from adequately sealing. Concentrate on the skin. You do not need to clean the stoma itself. If there is a lot of mucus there, feel free to remove that mucus gently without scrubbing the stoma tissue. Use the stoma measuring guide to measure the diameter of the stoma, getting as close to the stoma as possible without touching the stoma. You will want approximately 1 8 inch of healthy skin around the stoma. Once you have your size, trace onto the back of the pouch with your marker. Cut this out to the trace line. If you are using a one piece pouching system, pull the other side of the pouch away from the cutting surface to prevent you from cutting the pouch. Recheck to ensure you have the correct size, making sure that the pouch is on top of skin and not on stoma. Make small adjustments as needed, ensuring not to cut too large. And recheck. Next, remove the plastic or paper backing that is covering the wafer adhesive. Reclean and dry your skin. As needed, apply a barrier ring if your ostomy nurse has instructed to do so. Apply the new pouching system to the skin over the stoma. Remove the remaining backing strips of paper and smooth out the edges. If you get a wrinkle in this border tape, don't worry. The real seal comes from the middle wafer adhesive. The border tape gives your pouch added security. Close the spout at the bottom. Cover the new pouching system with the palm of your hand for approximately five minutes to warm the wafer up and allow it to melt to the skin for better adhesion. We know it is scary now, but after a few pouch changes, you will be surprised at how confident you will be when you are completing your pouch change. Initially, they may take 45 minutes in the hospital, but after some practice, you should be able to complete a change within 5 to 15 minutes.